Video, yes, video has come to Figma. Now, I've always talked about in the past how well, one thing that Adobe XD has over Figma is video. Now, that is not the case anymore. And by the way, if you're using XD, you should probably stop using it because they're going to discontinue it because Adobe bought Figma. So video, I'm gonna show you in this video how to integrate video into your Figma prototypes and also how to make them interactive. So check this out. This is the little project that we're gonna do. All right. Nothing exciting here. However, we're gonna click on this and it's gonna start playing. And there's a little bit of lag because it took, a, it's been a while since I played it, but you click on it, it starts. And guess what? When I stop right here, it stops right there. So we can do a lot of cool interactive things like this with the new video prototyping abilities within Figma. All right, let's get started. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship, where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. All right, so I am here in Figma. Let's go uh, create a new frame. We'll just do like an iPad Pro or something like that. Um, and then we're gonna create a rectangle. Now there's two ways to get video, or a couple ways to get video on here. Um, first is uh, like you already have a video file. You just drag it onto uh, Figma and it'll automatically put it into its own container like this. Or you can go to fill and we could choose video right here and then just choose choose video and it'll open up a file prompt. Uh, so there is a great resource um, called pexels.com forward slash videos. All right, so here's the URL right there. And it's kind of like Unsplash except for video. Uh, you could do a search here, like we could do um, trainer or something like that. And we get a lot of, a lot of these videos are great for the purposes of just having them in the UI uh, because they're short videos, they're high quality. Um, and there's one like this one, this dude right here doing a machine or cable flies rather. I, how long is it? Yeah, it's like, it's only like 26 seconds, high quality. And guess what? They make it really easy, just like Unsplash does to download. You just choose your size, like full HD or just HD. Let's do full HD. Um, download selected size, and there we go. You don't even have to create an account. So now that's ready to rock in, on my computer. And all I have to do is I'm gonna load up uh, that downloads and grab and just drag it in. All right. So at this point, if I go ahead and just hit play without you know tinkering around with it at all, it's just gonna autoplay just like that, like you would expect. And it will likely loop as well. So what we can do is to make this truly dynamic and interactive. And of course you would have to realize this uh, and create it in HTML and CSS or the front end developer would, or in, with JavaScript as well. Uh, but let me just show you some of the cool things that you can do because it is uh, something that you can hook up into interactive components and smart animate. All right, so let's go ahead and create like, kind of like a simple design for this. Uh, let's just put um, some type here. Now this is a good video because it has, it's a dark video. And so that means we can put some, you know, text over it that will be white. Or if you have the inverse, like a light video, you could put black text or, you know, darker text. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna put in get swole. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, uh, b make it bold. Um, yeah, you know, we'll make this pretty big, maybe like around this size. And then underneath it, I'm gonna duplicate this. I do have some text saved off the sides so that you don't have to sit here seeing me type all this crap. And I'm going to bring that in. Here, let's move this up a little bit. Okay, and then maybe we'll have like a little button underneath so we could take this, replicate that real quick, join Jim Bros. I'm gonna make a gym and just call it Jim Bros. 
compare to be so successful. All right, we're gonna put that right there. Shift L just for the arrow tool and make that white and change this to size two for the thickness. Take both of those, auto layout, center that thing, and we're ready to rock. Okay, so this is our simple design and the intention here is, um, this is gonna be the after state sorta. Let's give ourselves some rounded corners. And what I mean by after state is, uh, somebody's gonna click on a card and it's gonna reveal this description and this button right here and it's automatically going to start playing the video because by default it won't be played it'll be paused i uh, so yeah i think this looks pretty good right here all right so what we'll do is we'll take everything we'll create a component up here create a component variant by clicking it again at this point i'm going to use the frame tool we're going to give ourselves a nice big old frame and we're just going to drag this on over here and then we're gonna double click in the first one and we're gonna gain access to this and this, all right? Our description and our button. And we're just gonna change the pass through to zero. Now that hides them. And I'm gonna use my keyboard down arrow key to, to push it down just a bit. Can't really see where it's at, but this is gonna make the effect of it coming up. Now what we'll do is I uh, also take this background here. So rectangle one, which is the video frame right there all right awesome so now what we'll do is we'll switch to prototype mode we're going to double click so we get back to rectangle one and where it says autoplay we want to turn that off you can also turn looping on as well so i was wrong initially looping isn't on by default but you can also turn off sound and all that good stuff but we're not going to i guess it would make sense to loop this one so if we take this one rectangle one we'll turn on looping i uh, Oops, no, that's the wrong one. Let's see here, this one's the one we want. Okay, there we go. Uh, Autoplay, we wanna leave that on. Oh, it is on by default. Okay, just ignore me. So now what we'll do is we're gonna take uh, this, we're gonna drag it down. We're gonna change, uh, This is good. we can leave this to on tap or you can even do a hover state, maybe we'll experiment. Um, smart animate, so you wanna make sure this is left at smart animate right down here. I uh, this is 600 milliseconds for me. I'm gonna change this to like 450. Uh, and I have ease in and out as well right there. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll also take this one and make it revert back. It'll remember the previous uh, settings and we should be good. So now we're gonna switch back to design. We'll come to our assets. I will drag this on over here, put it like right here and let's hit play. All right, where do you have a play? There we go. So look at that. So by default, it pauses where, whenever you stop that interactive uh, component, whenever you click on it, which is really cool. So it's paused, click on it, bring everything out, and it'll just keep going because we set it to loop. Play again, and there we go. Of course, we can even have a little bit more fun with it. Say for instance, you want this this design right here, the click design to expand all the way out. Uh, here's a tip for doing that. We'll just take this up here and we'll bring this all the way over here. We'll take these two, put them in a center. Uh, switch the layers, make sure we're getting the right one. All right, we'll take this and we'll just expand out and get rid of those corners. Oops, I didn't get rid of all of them. There we go. All right. Okay, now we'll go ahead, switch back, click on that. Oops, sorry, I double clicked by accident. And there we go. That'd be awesome to uh, see somebody implement this with uh, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. And there we go. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to subscribe. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Check out designcourse.com for my UI UX course and the upcoming CSS course. And I will see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>